Alright guys, today I have my Kindle Fire again. Um, if you've watched my last two videos which showed you how to put uh, recovery on, torque recovery and um, fire, 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 bootloader, uh, boot mode uh, hack, then I'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of this. So what we're going to do today on the Kindle Fire is we're going to install an Android launcher um, and we're going to give it root permission. Okay, So I'm going to show it to you first of what it's actually going to do. So what it's going to do is it's going to install this. This is basically what it does. So you'll be able to do this. You'll be able to take your standard Kindle Fire, like just like it is here, and if you hit this option, you will go to um, an Android, basically an Android operating system. It will install Google Play. So you will have Google Play, and you can download those applications. You'll have an app drawer just like a normal Android operating system and any any app you want to download off of uh, Google Play. Um, you can download widgets now and everything is running really well. So this is the latest a uh, Amazon Kindle Fire version but you download this and install this stuff and you've got all of this on here now. So really cool scrollable little dock down here in the bottom. You can hold down and you can change your shortcuts, you can change themes, wallpapers, basically anything just like an Android tablet. Um, and then also, like I said, I'm going to give you guys root access, which is super user right here. And with it, you can actually do some really cool stuff like, let me show you here, use System Tuner Pro. And we can go in and change some of our parameters, the way this thing runs. Our CPU speeds right here you can see is 1 gigahertz CPU speed, our governors, all those kind of goodies on there with root access. So there you go guys, that's pretty much what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, and see if you hit home now, you have two options. You can go to Go Launcher EX, that's the launcher name, or you can go to the Kindle Launcher. So Kindle is your stock Kindle operating system with root access and some more extra apps because you've downloaded them. And the uh, other one, if we go to it, hit home, and go to EX, now you've got basically a standard Android tablet. So very, very cool, um, very, very neat. Again, settings though, it's still the same settings, so you're just basically changing your launcher is really all you're really doing. Um, which gives you, but you're also installing Google apps like Google Play and Super User to get root access. So anyway, now that you guys have seen what I'm going to show you how to do, we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. So let's go over to my computer and uh, we'll check this out. But like I said, man, if you want to go to Kindle though, really quick, just got to show you this. Boom, Kindle, Android, Kindle, or Android. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Or, here you go, either way, this way too. Kindle, hit it again, the home button, Android, boom, pretty cool. Even though they're both Android systems, it's just, it's just this is more of a common looking Android system. Alright, so to the computer now, let's check it out. Alright guys, so we're in the Kindle Fire Utility, which is what I've used in my last two videos. If you don't know how to install this and get it going, please watch them. Uh, you can find them on my YouTube channel. So you got to install your drivers, which we've already done. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to hook up our Kindle Fire to our USB to our computer and your Kindle Fire is then going to change to the USB mode just like this. See? Kindle's hooked up. See? Alright, so once we're in that mode, you can close out this window. We don't need this one up right now. And we're going to click on the run file under Kindle Fire Utility and allow it to run. Let me zoom up on this here. Okay, so we've clicked on the Kindle Fire Utility and these are your options. So what I want to show you guys is the first thing you always got to look at on the Kindle Fire Utility is your ADB status should say online and your boot status should say 4000 which is normal boot status. So those are the first two things you want to have. If those are reading correctly like that, then it means your drivers are working correctly. That's just your sign that they are. If you're not getting them, you can hit zero and then enter and it'll recheck your status. But you want to see that before you proceed to anything. Um, so if you've got that, which we do, we've already installed in the last video either Torp Recovery or Clockwork My Recovery, and we already installed um, Fire, Fire, Fire. So again, if you haven't done that, watch those videos, please. Um, so what we're going to do 
is we're going to go to right here. It says install permanent root with super user. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. So we're going to hit two and hit enter. All right, it's waiting for device. So it's done that. It's rebooting. The device is rebooting right now. It's just going to go through this procedure. It shouldn't take too awfully long to do this. Um, so set in recovery boot mode. Let's just see what it does here. Might take a second. It's kind of clicking on and off because it's rebooting right now on my computer. All right, it booted into recovery, which is Clockwork My Recovery for me, and did a couple of little quick things. And now it's rebooting again, and we're waiting for the device to connect. So it is, there we go. It just installed SuperUse APK. Print roof has been installed. Blah, blah, blah. Please be careful with it. You are not rooted. Press any key to continue. So I'm going to push a key and our device should be back to the powered on screen here. Sorry. This screen. Okay. If you unlock it, you're going to see it go back into USB mode. All right. So that just gave us a permanent root with super user. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to six. So hit six, enter. What we want to do is we want to install Google apps slash go launcher EX. That's what allows you to get that Android look and tablet with your uh, Google play and all that good stuff. So to do that, just hit one again. Also make sure your ADB status and everything is online right here and you're reading 4,000. So we're going to hit one and hit enter so it finds the files it needs if it doesn't mine already downloaded here's are gonna download it's gonna take a little longer here on this process so it's writing all that information there is let's see here how many files are there I think there's about 11 files it's gonna write so it's just making sure that they're installed successful 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 alright there you go it wrote all the files um, it says all done, everything's been installed, it is rebooting the device, so press any key to continue. And we're back to this menu. Now you can see that we are reading now as offline and unknown. Let's wait for the Kindle Fire to reboot, and then we're going to push zero to recheck status, and see how that, what that gets us here. Alright, let's hit zero and see if we can recheck status. All right, so zero and recheck. There we go. So there it is, guys. That is online. You're at 4,000 again. Your Kindle Fire is rebooting. When it's all done, you should be able to unplug the cable from the uh, computer, and you will have both Kindle Fire, so you'll have your Amazon interface, I guess you would call it, and you will have Go Launcher EX interface, and you'll be able to switch between either one very, very easily just like I showed you, and you will have root permission on the Kindle Fire. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much it. The only other utility, the only other things that this thing does in this utility, basically, is you have a lock wallpaper, unlock wallpaper right here, these two options, and you have um, obtain latest stock update zip. So what will happen if you hit this, it'll go online, it'll search for the latest uh, Kindle Fire stock Android or stock operating system, and it will install it. It will replace, I think, pretty much everything and wipe it back to stock. So if you want that, this will do it right here, this option. Seven, and it'll do it. So there you go, guys. Here, I'm just going to show you. I am back to the unlock screen. I'm going to unplug this really quick. Show you right there you have an option. Here, I'm going to refocus here for you guys. So right there, guys, there it is. There's your option for Kindle Launcher or Go Launcher. And we'll just hit Kindle for right now. And there it is. You're back to your Kindle looking interface. And then to switch, boom, right there. You just hit that one. And you will boot up into the Android interface. You can skip through all this little stuff, some setup stuff. There it is. Shabam. So, guys, I hope you guys like this little video. Uh, I'm going to be doing more on the Kindle Fire, probably doing some videos on installing custom ROMs, stuff like that. Um, if you do, please subscribe down below. Uh, check out. 
uh, my website, Root Junkie, right up here by my thumb. Or follow me on Twitter or Facebook. And uh, there you go. Hope you guys like this video, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.